Hello students. In this video session, we will see the next example in kinematics of rigid bodies with ICR method. This is the next example that we have where we have to find out the velocities and the angular velocities for general plane motion by using the ICR method. Now, in this figure, this is the collar B which is moving along this vertical post. Now, because this collar is moving along the vertical post in the to and fro motion, that is, I would say, up and down. So, what is happening with that? This rod AB is sliding along this surface, the inclined surface. This inclined surface is inclined at an angle of 25 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Now, because of that, what is happening is this point A either goes down along the plane or it moves up along the plane depending on the movement of this collar. So, we'll just read out this question and try to identify what is required. Now, it states that collar B, which moves upwards with a constant velocity of 1.5 meter per second. So, we know that this end B is having a velocity of 1.5 meter per second and that is moving upwards. At the instant when theta is 50 degrees, that means this angle is given to us. The angle between the vertical post and this rod AB happens to be 50 degrees. So, we have to find the angular velocity of rod AB. That is, this end B, when it is going up, end A is also going to slide up in this direction along the surface. So, I need to drop the perpendicular from these two points. It is also asking me to find velocity of end A, that is the velocity at this point A. And it is also asking me to find velocity of the midpoint, that is C. So how do I go about this? As I said, we need to first find out the ICR, that is instantaneous center of rotation. I'll just draw the rough figure for that to locate the ICR. So if I drop the perpendicular from this region, I mean the end B, it goes like this. And if I drop a perpendicular from here, it goes Like this. So my ICR happens to be at this posi position for the given instant when theta is 50 degrees. Okay, so now I need to find out few angles. I need to find out the length IA, IB so that I can find out the angular velocity of this rod AB since this rod AB is moving up like this this whole thing is moving that means the angular velocity is going anti-clockwise with respect to i so i'll show it like this omega ab okay i need to first find out few angles the angle of this surface with respect to the horizontal is given to me as 25 degrees so the angle of this rod with respect to the horizontal will be 40 degrees. The reason for that is this angle is 50 and if I drop a perpendicular, this will be 90 degrees. So the angle of AB with respect to horizontal is 40 degrees. So similarly over here, I can say that this angle is 40 degrees. So now I need to find out the angle over here. I can say that since I have drawn a perpendicular from this, this 
I have drawn the perpendicular with respect to this surface. So the angle over here with respect to the surface will be 90 degrees. But if I need to find out this angle, so I need to first find out the inside angle over here. So that would be, as I have said, this is 40 degrees. So I can say that this is 15 degrees. So out of this 90 degrees, if I have taken 15 over here, this angle happens to be 75 degrees. So I have got this angle and this angle, I can find out this angle. So I know that the inside angles, the inner angles of this triangle has to be 180 degrees. This is 75 and this is 40. So I can find out this angle. So that is 65 degrees. Now, the next step is I need to find out the length IA and IB. I know this length is 1.5. 2 meters. So by using sine rule, I can find out the length IA and IB. So I have got the length IA and IB over here. Now I can find out the angular velocity of rod a b because we have the relation v equal to r omega so the angular velocity for the rod a b is coming out as 1.17 radians per second now using the same omega that is the angular velocity for a b i can find out the velocity of end a So using the same relation, I have got the velocity of A, velocity at point A as 0.966 meter per second. So I have satisfied a few parts of the question that was required. The angular velocity was required of the rod AB. So I have got that. Now velocity of end A is also done. Now I need to find out velocity of the midpoint C of this rod AB. So now to find out the velocity of point C, what I need to do is I need to find out the distance IC. So in this triangle IBC, in the triangle IBC, if I apply sine rule, I can find out the uh, the length IC or by using the cosine rule, I can find out this length. So for that, I can use the cosine rule. That would be easier for me. So it will be I got length of IC as 0.897 meters. So now again using the same relation, I can find out the velocity at of point C. So it goes BC is R times of omega AB. I know R that is 0 0.897 and omega we have already calculated as 1.17 radians per second. So now VC is 1.05 meters per second. So this is how we have calculated the velocities of the different points. I have taken the velocity of the midpoint as well now. In similarly, I can find out velocity along the length of the rod, provided I know the angular velocity of that rod and the distance of that point from the instantaneous center. In this case, I have just done that. I know the distance of this point, midpoint C, from the instantaneous center. I calculated that by using the cosine rule. So, this was the example that we have taken, wherein we found the velocity of the midpoint as well. Thank you.